Good morning, everyone. In today's video, I will be talking about uh, one of the uh, custom packages that you can download from uh, Dynamo Packages uh, <clears throat> system, and uh, I'll be talking today about the node uh, model charts. Um, it's a custom uh, uh, package, so you have to go to the packages here and then you know search for them, write the name, and then just hit install, and soon you're gonna find that uh, you know menu uh, added to your library. Uh, in the uh, model, uh, in the node model charts, you will find only one uh, category for the current uh, available one. Uh, up to the date of this video, you're going to find that uh, we have six uh, types, and I prepare some, you know, uh, some script here to, as an example, to show you. The one that I like to start with is the bar chart, which is the easiest one, of course and um, it's just simply can take a group of inputs uh, arranged in a specific manner and then get you the shape of it so you can use that uh, specific this one you can use it for uh, you know demonstrating or uh, you know visualizing the way the outputs or your result uh, are actually being formed and you can have a look at them without the need to send that or export that to excel uh, we have also have the pie chart. We also have the scatter uh, charts, and uh, we have a couple of other two types. This is the linear one, a linear one, uh, the X Y line plot. Uh, I'll be starting today to talk about uh, you know the bar chart, which is the easiest one, and it simply needs a label, values, and color. Uh, indeed, the color is the easy, uh, easiest thing to be talking about. It's just our color palettes here. And you have to add them to a list dot create, and then just feed that back. And you can decide which color you want uh, for any uh, one of those series. And you can control it, and the, the bar chart will be updated automatically. The value, of course, it will uh, you know represent the uh, the amount of uh, you know uh, numerical value that you want to add, and as a chain. Of course, I'm here uh, assuming there is a cost chain and a profit chain, and, uh, and this one, for example, represents the second one, and this one represents the first one. You have to put them in this type of a format, just a group or sequence of numbers, and then you have to add them both to the uh, list, then fade that to the value. Now we need to add a string here for the cost, okay, and you need that also for the profit and again add them to list and then add that to the overall uh, labels and you're going to show up here as a label if you want to turn off you know those and just keep only one you can and dynamo will ignore the second list and it depends on you know how many uh, how many series of information uh, you want just one like this one or just two or three or uh, depend on how much you want actually so i think that's uh uh, self-explain for the bar chart for the sorry for the yeah for the bar chart now for the pie chart uh, almost the same we have uh, colors so self-explain I'm not going to talk about it the values here is different uh, the label uh, the labels are actually the same so I'm not going to talk about them and the interesting thing here the uh, way that this node works which is you know I'm adding here 40 and 60 in order to complete the full uh, chart, but if you have, you know, to give, uh, it's not a percentage, so don't think that you have to complete the 100. You can add two 60s here, and you're going to end up by having two, you know, two equal halves or two equal parts of the circle, uh, of the circle or two halves of it, and are uh, kind of, uh, you know, allow you to uh, see the, uh, you know, the relationship between those two. Uh, numbers of two value on a pie chart system. You can also feed that not in the code block, but in the uh, you know in the list format. You don't need to create the uh, here the grouping sequence. You can just uh, add them on the old way fashion, old fashioned way like this one. The scatter one is a bit complicated, and again we have uh, labels. And I'm here having the same thing, so cost and profit, so it's technically the same. The colors, again, are the same. And uh, also, you have uh, X values and Y values here. Uh, that's, the, that's the thing, actually, is different 
uh, from the, the the ones the previous two things that we just showed. For the x values, now um, just adding. I'm um, just gonna you know assume that there, we have one uh, one value instead of two or one uh, list instead of two. So I'm gonna get rid of uh, the second one just to ease the pain of explaining it uh, and make it easier to be you know comprehend. Uh, this is this is the x value, so I'm going to get from 0 to 10, and you can see that it goes from 0 to 10. Of course, uh, they are not going to be shown all of them, so that's the minimum value, and that's the maximum value. So if I want to go to 20, this will be up to 20, and so on. Uh, Sometime I find it that just uh, you know doesn't show the line at the end, you know, a little bit of uh, you know crazy. Uh, so just uh, you know, I try to deal with that. Uh, usually the lines for the major things, which is I think 10 and 20, I didn't see that with 5, unless it's end up with 5 as the overall range. So uh, from 0 to 10, and now they just, or actually they know just booked these value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or whatever, 6 I think, 6, six, uh, six numbers, yep, in this list, or 6 members in the list, and then the y value so for the first one here which is the zero you will find that value of five for it so here it's a zero by five it's like an x and y exactly and this dude here is two because it's two in x and eight in y the things that a little bit annoying for me that uh the the y doesn't start up from zero start from the uh four here uh, so, because 4 here is the minimum available in here, so he start off, or the node actually started uh, depending on 4 as the minimum value, which is a bit of confusing in the beginning, specifically when you look at this one, you thought it's 0, but now it's 4. It's 4 by 4, so the that one and this one, and so on, 6 by 6, and there you go. You can just add another string of information. Or another uh, sublist, as you can see, connect those. And you're gonna have a scatter, a scatter, a new chain or new series here of lines that can be distributed along that uh, node. Uh, I will try in the next video to explain more in detail uh, regarding the uh, x and y uh, line plot and. For that time, uh, take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.